right, now comes the question, what are the expectations for you as parents? You know, again, we've talked about Team Carolina expectations, player expectations. What are we expecting from you from parents? You know, we talked the other night in our parent meeting. I guarantee you this. First game, first five minutes, a bad call is going to happen. It's just going to happen. The, the, the officiating is not going to be great, no matter where we go. Maryland, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, New York, Virginia, it doesn't matter. It's going to all be the same. Let's let the officials do what they do best and try to ref. Let's let our coaching staff do what they do best and try to coach and let them handle that conversation. Your job as parents is to be the biggest supporter you can from the sideline. We want you cheering on the boys. We want you encouraging the boys. We want you making noise for great plays. But let's let the officials do what they do and let our coaches do what they do best. And I want to dive in a little deeper into this because I think it's that important. It can be hard to sometimes not say something to your son such as, go get them or do this or do that. Let our coaches coach. Please, 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 please help us by just staying on the support side. When you tell your son to do something on the sidelines, and you tell him to go to X, you tell him to pass or to shoot or do that, it's hard for them not to hear that and let that drive their actions. Let our coaches continue to do the coaching and guide them appropriately. We are asking you to be the biggest supporters you can be while letting everyone do the job that they have in place. We're really going to push from all age groups, youth to middle school to high school, to let your son be an advocate for himself. Now, when we talk about the youth and middle school side, we understand how challenging, really all ends, how challenging this can be. But if there's concerns around playing time, there's concerns around training environment, concerns around anything, encourage your son to have the first conversation with our coaching staff. Encourage them to find the coach, to reach out beforehand and ask to meet and have a discussion. And we understand not all kids uh, have access at the youth level to team snap. We encourage them to go up to coach at practice. It's going to be tough. But I think the more we can be aligned around this as a whole entire group, I think the better because we are teaching skills that go beyond Team Carolina in high school. We're teaching skills they're going to need at the next level when they go to college, when they go into the professional work environment. That's to have difficult and hard conversations. Let your son be an advocate for himself if there are any issues and concerns. Let's say he does that and we don't feel like or you don't feel like your son doesn't feel like that issue has been resolved. Next step from there would be to communicate with the head coach of your team and include either Ricky, myself, or Coach Fop, or any of our directors in on that communication, just so we're all aware. From there, we can set up a time where we can meet, talk over the phone, and discuss the issue at hand and what solutions might be for you. The first step, no matter what age group, is to have your son try to advocate for himself. Next step from there, if that issue isn't specifically resolved or you want to talk more in depth, is then let's have a conversation with one of our directors and the head coach of your specific 24-hour rule, please, please, please don't approach any of our coaches or directors the same day as a tournament. Motions can get high at time, especially in tight games and things going on. Let's give it 24 hours. Let's sleep on it. Then from there, we can have a conversation and then you can reach out. And again, we're all on the same page. We all want what is best for your son. And we, as Team Carolina, as you, we want to see your son do well. And so let's remember that, have respectful conversations around any sort of solutions that we need to find together, but let's give that 24 hours from a tournament. And lastly, respect the game, respect each other, and respect all of our families and everyone else. I know that doesn't have to be said. Team Carolina families, in my experience, have been incredible and some of the best, but you are representing Team Carolina, just as our staff is. We are an organization together. Let's let other parents and other organizations do what they do and let's not worry about them. As I mentioned in the beginning, it's all about the ability to support. Let's support each other. Let's respect and honor Team Carolina and the colors that we do wear. And then we'll go out and show out in the tournaments and events we're about to play.